Hi, my name is Christy Ploizel. I'm 35 and a mother of two teenagers, and I live in Texas. I'm doing this video to uh, answer some questions people have about press-on veneers. I have mine in right now, but I will take them out during the video and uh, explain to you some stuff about them. Okay, these are my veneers. And we have the top part. Um, I do want the bottom ones. I'm working on that. And, uh, okay, I'm going to take them out. I can't believe I'm doing this because I don't like people seeing my own teeth. This is why I got them. I've had bad teeth my whole life. Um, some of that's genetic, and some of it's just from a calcium deficiency. You can also see, if you look, I'm missing some teeth. It's from bad decisions, okay? And uh, they're not white. My bottom ones are not that bad, but my top ones. And I have a 16-year-old daughter, and she would tell me, Mom, your teeth, they're not white. They're yellow. Don't smile so much. I think that was the breaking point for me. I wanted to uh, make her proud of me. And I wanted to do things in life that I haven't done yet because my teeth and my smile were holding me back. Okay, um, a friend of mine at work had the veneers and I thought they were dentures at first. And when I asked him, he said, no, Google's press on veneers. He'd had them for like five years. So I Googled them and I did what you're doing now. I watched videos. Uh, the videos don't always answer a lot of the questions and in this one I'm going to. Okay. I spent a little over a thousand dollars for mine but I'm impatient. They were supposed to be like 790 I believe and I opted for the fast delivery. So instead of waiting two to three weeks I got mine in seven days. Okay. I called this service thing and I asked some questions at first and she was explaining to me that it's non-refundable once they start your veneers because that's really what you're paying for. You're paying for the craftsmanship, you're paying for their labor and once they start your veneers it's non-refundable. And in my mind I was thinking that's a lot of money uh, and I'm not rich. This is why I haven't gone to the dentist. <laughs> Like, this is why I don't get uh, them removed and have dentures and because I'm not rich. So spending that kind of money on an online product was nerve-wracking. Next morning, I woke up. I called back. I spoke to the same lady. She was there late at night and there in the morning. They, they have operators all night long. And I told her, take my credit card information before I change my mind. So I placed the order. And you, there's three choices of colors. When you get your indention kit, you'll see that. So she, she took my money. She uh, sent me a indention kit in the mail within three days. And it's like a mouth guard that you put in your mouth with Play-Doh. Okay. And uh, you hold it up on your teeth, let it harden for about a minute, put it back in the, the self or prepaid envelope that they give you, and you send it back. Okay. Like I said, I opted for the fast delivery because I'm impatient. I wanted mine quick. So, uh, once they got mine at the lab, they started right away. And I had them back to me within seven uh, business days. Okay. Uh, they come in the mail a package and I was really excited. Okay, when you first get them, you'll pull them out of the package. They'll look like this. Okay. If you can see these, the coverage goes all the way around the back and all the way around the bottom. It's not just front coverage. Okay? It'll tell you to put them in hot water. And I did that. That that makes them a little more pliable to your teeth. And when you first put them on, you put them over your teeth and push them in. And when you first get them, they're going to be a little tight. Okay? you'll feel a little pressure on your teeth. But your teeth adjust. It took about two days for my teeth to adjust. Okay? They're in there good. I can't yank on them and just pull them out. I actually have to pop them out. Usually I use my tongue on the back and pop them out. They cover 
all the way to the back. Okay? They cover the whole gum line. They match your teeth perfectly. They're made to fit your own teeth. The thing I like about these is they're sturdy. Everybody wants to know, can you eat with them? I've never seen anyone on these videos eat, so I'm going to answer your question. Yes, you can. This is a crunchy tor uh, taquito. See how crunchy that is? There's no move bridge on them. They stay in place. They don't go anywhere. Perfect. A popsicle. If you've ever seen these, you know how hard they are. <clears throat> no problem whatsoever. I eat with mine all the time. Now when you first get yours, you can't eat with them. You have to let your teeth adjust. I would take mine out during meals and I worked my way into eating with them. Like I would eat soft food like bread and stuff because I wasn't sure if you could eat with them. But now I eat everything. I mean, sometimes I'll take them out if I want to eat like a well done steak or if I want to, I guess, chew on a jawbreaker or something, I'll take them out. But when I'm at work, I work at a busy restaurant, I don't have time to take my teeth out just to, to grab something small to eat. So I eat with them. I, I don't take them out at restaurants when I go out. I don't take them at home when I eat. I do take them out at night. It does say don't sleep in them, give your teeth rest. I take them out at night. I brush them. When you take them out at night, when you brush your own teeth, floss and stuff, after you're through with that, brush your veneers. Your toothbrush fits nicely inside, okay? I'll run them under hot water. I'll brush them. Sometimes I'll even dip them in Listerine just for the germ killing because your mouth is full of germs, okay? And then I lay them in the, either the little gray case that it comes with, it's like a retainer case, or I'll put them on a shelf in my bathroom. And I'll put them back in in the morning, brush my teeth, rinse them. Sometimes I dip them in hot water if they're a little dry because, you know, it, it goes right up against your own teeth. So dip them in some hot water every morning. Shake them off really good because you don't want that water behind there, especially if your teeth are sensitive. And put them back in. See? Nice and pretty. I love my teeth. Before I got them, I was shy. I didn't smile. I took a lot of pictures, but I never smiled. It was just... That was my smile. Now, I smile every day. When I'm talking, when I take pictures, I smile. And um, I was a server at Denny's. It's a multi-million dollar restaurant for three years. And I never took that step to get that promotion that I wanted. I was good enough to be boss. I just, I wasn't confident enough. When I got my teeth, I started the process. I uh, started working towards my goals. And now I'm a restaurant manager. I'm moving to a different location where I'm going to run, help run my own store. And uh, it's all because Snap-on Veneers gave me that confidence. So if you're a little iffy and you don't know if you want them, take it from me. It was well worth it. I don't regret spending the money at all. At all. I mean, I would regret buying a movie online more than I would regret buying these teeth. They are well worth it. My kid doesn't ever tell me not to smile around her friends again. Like, they're proud of me, and I'm proud of myself. A smile can make the difference. It can really boost your esteem and get you where you want to go. Because the first impression people notice about you when they meet you is your smile. Well, I hope this video helped. And, uh... If you have any questions, just ask them here or hit me up on Facebook.